Southern California was hit by a magnitude 5.1 quake last Friday. And today, West Coast lawmakers called on Congress to fund an early warning system which they say could make a huge difference in the next big one. We were curious about the technology, so we asked John Blackstone to fill us in. So this is what floats on the surface here? That's right. This is the buoy, just like the one that's off the coast of uh, Oregon. At the Government Center for Tsunami Research in Seattle, Chris Meinig helped design a sensor to provide more advanced warning of tsunamis. We have less than 20 minutes in order to detect a signal and send the alarms off to the communities under threat. That's what we're steering towards, this new technology. Tsunamis are generated when earthquakes move the ocean floor, so the new sensors are placed on the bottom as close as possible to an earthquake fault, sending a signal by satellite when a tsunami is triggered. From the time the gauge goes off on the seafloor to when the first signals arrive on land is about a two-minute time delay for that entire path. Researchers will be able to calculate how high the wall of water will be and how far it could travel. With the new systems now, we're hoping to buy ourselves a little bit in time that can get the warning out quickly and to evacuate those communities under threat. Two prototypes of the new sensors are now being tested off the coast of Oregon. An earthquake there last month demonstrated the sensors work. Further testing will determine how many may be needed to provide tsunami warning for the entire west coast. John Blackstone, CBS News, Seattle.